Wow, so what an awesome experience. We actually did get the dipper. I was really not expecting to. Um, it's probably only, I'm looking at it right now, probably only 75 yards away, so it's pretty close. Um, got some great footage of it. Welcome to the Kootenai National Wildlife Refuge. The Kootenai National Wildlife Refuge is located near Canada and has a wide array of northern bird species. Taking a little stroll on a nearby path, we noticed black capped chickadees along the side of the trail, and I got my spotting scope out and did some scanning to see what I could find. After a few mo moments, I located two Canada geese preening themselves on the lake ice. The Canada goose can be identified by its black feet, legs and neck and bill, black eye, and white stripe below its eye. The body on Canada geese are gray and the tips of their wings are black. I just got a new species for the day, chestnut back chickadee. I didn't see them, but I heard them. Actually, I can hear them right now. Right there, I might actually be able to see them. Um, so that's cool. I know their call very well. It's very similar to other chickadees, like mountain chickadees and black capped chickadees, but it has this more like not harshness to it, but it's like a CC to it. So it's like a chickadee sound with like a C to it. So maybe I'll get a quick view of them here. After a few moments, I located two chestnut back chickadees high on this larch tree. The Kootenai National Wildlife Refuge has a nice visitor center where they have a good viewing area for, to have great views of the nearby bird feeders. As well, near the trail near the visitor center, we notice dark-eyed juncos. These cute little birds can be identified by their white breast, palish side flanks, black head, and pale bill. This great blue heron was foraging near Canada geese out in the marsh as well. Lots of red-winged blackbirds were near the feeders and took periodic flybys from the feeders to the nearby trees. As well, I noticed this Stellar's Jay. Taking a nearby stroll to a frozen creek, or a partially frozen creek, we located one of my favorite birds from the day, the American Dipper. These cute little species have to have clean, clear, rushing water to survive in. This bird foraged and bathed in the water just yards from me. American dippers are overall gray. They forage on aquatic insects in the water and need fast flowing streams to survive in. American dippers are actually songbirds. As I watched, the fast little bird plunged in 
after its quarry of food, fearlessly diving into the creek and then popping out again. I was fortunate enough to get this shot when the dipper perched on this log in the creek and gave me a great view. Wow, so what an awesome experience. We actually did get the dipper. I was really not expecting to. Um, it's probably only, I'm looking at it right now, probably only 75 yards away, so it's pretty close. Um, got some great footage of it. Um, I'm really, I really hope you enjoyed that. As we were heading out for the day, we noticed this red-tailed hawk perched up on the sign near the entrance to the Kootenai National Wildlife Refuge. As well, this black-billed magpie flew in and landed on a nearby cottonwood. As luck would have it, as we were driving out, I noticed a group of geese that looked a little unusual to me out in the fields. We pulled off on the side of the road, and I immediately noticed that they were greater white-fronted goose, a new Idaho state lifer. With the geese were swans, and I'm not quite sure if they are trumpeters or tundras, so let me know down in the comments if you know. They were pretty far away, so it was hard for me to get a visual on the shape of their bill. As well, the last bird of the day was this common golden eye, which I noticed as we were driving out. Thank you so much for watching this week's video, and make sure to subscribe to my channel because we have lots of more birding adventures to come.